there is still time yet in 2021 to get into a new home. And if you're one of the many people who are perhaps desperately trying to seek a new home, or maybe you're just kind of considering it, but the one thing that's stopping you is you don't have money for a down payment, you'll want to stick around because our friend Rob Grollo from VIP Mortgage might just have the solution for you. Rob, it's so good to see you. You too, thanks. Absolutely. So um, let's talk about down payments because you always hear about, you know, when you go in to get a mortgage, Mortgage. They ask how much money do you have for a down payment? How much money are you willing to put down for a down payment? What's the scoop there? How much do you really need? Yeah, and, and it's a great question because traditionally we always grew up, you always heard 20%. Mm -hmm. You, know, you got to have 20% to put down. And, and if you can do that, great. You know, you're one of the minority. Right. Um, you're an extreme minority. <laughs> I was say, I don't think I've ever put down 20% on a no, house. No, <laughs> very few people do these days. Yeah. Um, and, and so there's programs, you know, you can do 20% if you got it. You can do 10%, 15%, 5%. We've got programs that go 3% or 3.5%. But there's also programs where you can get assistance that you can actually cover that down payment that you may or may not have. You may have it and just not want to use it because you want to use it to do improvements or buy something for the house. So we can get you in there actually with, with no money down. There's assistance programs or down payment assistance programs to, to get people into that. And not just for host first time home buyers, you could be an existing homeowner buying a new house and still take advantage of that. Wow, so it's possible to actually get into a house with no money down then yeah, through it, this assistance program. It, it really is. It's a great program too. And there's several of them out there. And a mm -hmm. lot of people have heard of WIDA. You know, sure. Wisconsin Economic Development Association. And that's one option for down payment, down payment assistance programs. But there's also other ones out there that we work with that, that, that can help people get into a house with literally, they will cover the whole down payment. So if you're getting an FHA loan, for example, and you need three and a half percent down payment, they'll help you with that three and a half percent down payment. Um, and, and then possibly even a little more than that to help with the closing costs. Good to know that if you are looking for a home that, you know, there's a little bit, there's at least one less hurdle to getting it. Yeah. It Maybe hard to find the home of our dreams right now, but one less hurdle in front of us. Absolutely. In getting there's it. So, little that should keep people from taking a look at it now. Absolutely. Little reason. So what about closing costs? Let's talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. um, do do we have to use our own funds for this, this same program? Is that mm -hmm. mandatory? No, it's not. And that's the other thing. Again, we're, we're, the down payment assistance programs can not only help cover the down payment portion, but they can also help cover a portion of the closing costs as well. Oh, great. So you got part of that taken care of right away, but then if you don't have the extra money yourself to help cover that closing cost, there's ways around that because it still allows for seller contributions. So the seller could actually contribute to cover the closing costs. You can have a gift fund from a family member or an investment party, somebody you're related to um, or close to that can actually gift you the funds as well to help cover that closing cost. So there's different avenues and different sources that we can explore to help people get into that house. They don't need to wait because of that. So again, removing hurdles and getting people into their homes. Yep. Um, so we're talking about down payment assistance here. This is a, a sounds like a fantastic program. What does it take to truly qualify yeah. for this program? So like every loan, it's not for everybody, mm -hmm. right? Every loan, there's different guidelines and different regulations and things that you have to follow. So we're gonna look at it and see if we can get people into these programs. Each ones will have, they'll have individual guidelines. Some of them could be restricted based off credit scores. Mm -hmm. Some of them off of income requirements. Some of them off of debt ratios. So we're gonna look at all those and make sure that people can qualify for them. But let us look for it first. You know, don't wait and think you can't do it because you may be really surprised what you can get into and what you can qualify for. Sure, sure. And you know, I think some people are thinking that, you know, when there's different entities involved, when you, when you get a program like this involved, they think, well, that's just gonna kind of slow up the time that it takes to actually get to the closing date and get yeah. those keys in my hand. Is that true? Does this take more time to, to process through uh, no, this program? It, it really doesn't. I mean, we, can, we close these loans consistently in that 30 to 45 days, just like we do most all other loans. Okay. The only program that really takes an extensive amount of time to close are those renovation loans because mm -hmm. there's so much more involved up front. These loans are just like any normal loan. Um, we can close them just without, without any extra steps or without a lot of extra hurdles that they have to go through. We have a little bit more paperwork that we have to take care of, but there's not a lot for the borrowers to do, not a lot extra. 
it's peace of mind there for sure. Very so, much so. So it, it, is VIP Mortgage a good place to start if people are kind of wondering, hey, I wonder if I qualify for a program like this, is VIP Mortgage a good place to start? Absolutely, because we work with several different organizations and sell several different down payment organizations or programs that we could look at and compare them. Okay, now, so we don't there's work a, there's a variety to choose from. There are a variety. Okay. There are a variety. And just because one doesn't fit doesn't mean another one necessarily won't. And if we don't have the ones that'll work, you know, we've got, I've got relationships and I know other people that I'd be happy to, to, to get them in contact with to try to get them into a program that works for them. All right, folks, this is your guy, Rob Grollo over at <laughs> VIP Mortgage. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank as you. Always. I appreciate it. We'll be back after the break. Stick around.